You know, at this stage now, I thought Divi was done with new features, but I was very surprised to see that they released a feature which, upon closer inspection, it is actually quite helpful. So this feature is called the Inspector. Let's take a look at it. So the Inspector is right over here, just above the Variable Manager. And when you click on it, it just opens up like that. And then it just inspects any item you want on your actual page. So let's say we have this text here. We've designed our website and you just want to go in and make a few changes quickly. The Inspector now comes to the rescue. So let's right click here and click on inspect. Now you'll notice that we now have this opened inspector here. So this will show you what makes up this text right here. So I so happen to have Side Crafter, which is our Divi 5 framework. And you can see all my classes that I've used here. So this saves me time now. So for example, let's say I want to uh, increase the size here to 6XL. Uh, and that's my class. You can see there it's gone bigger and I can even do that. So why this is important is because it has saved me quite a lot of clicks. If I wanted to change this, like prior to this update, I would have to select this, go to advanced attributes, and then I'll click here on edit attribute, and then I'll come over here, make the change like that. But now, notice how easy it is. All I have to do, right click, oops, right click, inspect, and then I just come over here and change it. So that to me is a really, really, really good feature. So you may be thinking, well, okay, it's attributes. Why? Why don't we have like our normal sizes? Well, what I realized is you don't have normal sizes because that's not how this text was made up. It was not 50 pixels or 40 pixels and so on. But we do get to see how other elements are put together. But before we do that, let's take a look at the text here. So if I come over here, I can only change the text. So let's say we just edit the text. I've just added an E to that. And that's pretty much all you can do here. And I really love that because imagine having all the all, all the items that we could click on that that then defeats the whole feature but now let's take a look at this now this button here i know for a fact that this is a preset so let's see what happens here this one here brought our attributes so i'm going to come over here right click and i'm going to say inspect you notice now that we have the presets tab so from the presets tab here and by the way, I have uh, cast, uh, crafted presets. It's on sale. It has a bunch of presets. For example, uh, for our buttons here, I have our pill button here. So I can just choose that and my button is selected. If I want to update this one here, again, right click. Then I will say inspect. And then I'll just go and choose my pill outline just like that. Now, now, do you see how easy this is? I mean, this is a game changer. It may seem like it's not really important, but it is a game changer. But not only are we only able to just do the presets thing, we can actually go in, change our presets, and then over here on the content, we can go in and change the content. So for example, this click here can be download. Okay, like that. And I've just quickly gone in and made a change to that button. So again, in the normal way would be to click here, design, button, and then you go to button background, you start making all your changes here, button border, and so on and so forth. So it just saves you a lot of clicks. So the other thing that we can do as well is the styles. If we come over here now and change our button background color, this will update the preset. Now, how cool is that? So your preset can be updated from here. So let's say I change it like that. Notice now it's asking me update all presets. Now, do you see how powerful that is? We did not need to come over here, click on this little drop down, and then we go into our preset settings, make all our edits, and then come over here and save preset. We didn't even need to do that. 
Right, let me show you another example. So you may be thinking, well, maybe this is to do, to do with modules. No, absolutely not. If I come over here, right click, inspect. Now I'm inspecting, oops. If I come over here and I say inspect, now I am inspecting this actual section. And there's a lot going on here. You can see our button text background color and so on. So there's a lot going on. We even have the layout here is telling me that this is a grid and I can change this to flex and so on. But I'm going to keep this to grid. So you can go, you can literally go in and uh, inspect pretty much anything. So we also have other elements here. This is okay. It doesn't really matter what it is. So let's find out. I can go in and inspect and it's telling me here that this is a preset. Look at that. So I can go in and change this to outline and you can see it has an outline i can go in and change this to primary but i don't want that style do i so we can go through all these and this is a now much better way of taking a look at all our layouts i mean i really really love this so we can go to the dark one but for this to work for that preset to work, you'd need to now go to your background over here and then set a really dark background color. And once you do that, you'll notice that this now comes to live. You see that? So this preset is only used on dark backgrounds. Again, let's say we want to change the color. You can see it really adapts to the colors that we have here which is brilliant so that's how you know the presets work in fact i need to delete this because i don't need that anymore okay so moving on oops okay now we're back to normal okay so moving on over here we also have this text i'm going to right click inspect so you're going to find that this is slightly different. If I come over here to numbers, you can see this is where now it doesn't have a preset. It doesn't have a, an attribute of a class. This is where you can literally go in and change this to whatever size you want. So let's say you want to say 50 pixels. You can change this to 50 pixels. If you want to change it to rem, you can say 5 rem like that. And then it changes. You can come over here to your weights, changes from ultra bold to semi bold or you can just go in and set this to light. It's pretty much, you know, whatever you want. But you can see here, the, there's a massive difference here. On the content, this is where you get to change, you know, what the text says, like that. So it's very, very quick. You can just literally right click something and then start working on it. I mean, I really, really love how this works. So for this one here, you want to change an icon quickly. You can just go in here and you know update your icon let's say that's the icon you want for that and it's done so the presets the normal text the variables and your sections all your modules the rows all can be uh, can be controlled using this inspector i think this is something you may need to start adding to your design workflow it is definitely going to make it much easier for you to design and uh, pinpoint any changes that you want to make very fast without actually coming over here to design and then clicking all around. And this was my main worry uh, with DV5. There's just too much clicking. Click, 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 click everywhere. So this definitely reduces the clicks. So it is a very good uh, addition. Try it out. Uh, if you haven't purchased uh, DV5 yet, Go ahead and purchase it. The link to that is in the video description below. And I also have a DV5 mastery course. Let me show you where it is. If you head over to DV University, uh, here it is. If you go to courses, and here is DV5 mastery course. There's 27 lessons. I'll be adding even more lessons. Like as we speak right now, there's lessons in production for uh, this inspector. There's also CSS grid. So once you purchase this course, you're just going to be up to date with how DV5 works. As you can see, it is getting, you know, more and more advanced. So if you want to get started with DV, that's the course to go for. It's only 
$27. $27. And once you purchase it, you don't have to pay extra when new lessons are added onto the course. And also, if you want to be a part of uh, the online DV community, head over to DVUniversity.com and sign up to be a member. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.